I really appreciate it if we really interact with you in the comment section. So before I start, let me just see, let me check who is watching me so that I can give you a shout out. Who is online? Just wave. Wave so that I can know. I see three people watching. Thank you. And watch till the end so that if you don't know how to cook it, you'll, after the end of this video, you'll have an idea what omushenye is. And uh, yeah. And by that way, we will know. We will know how the Luya community cook their traditional or cultural food. Thank you. I can see Zeria Waluka. Thank you so much for tuning in. I can see Evelyn Otieno. Thank you so much, Evelyn, for tuning in. I can see Colette Lynn. Thank you, Colette. Thank you, Timothy Amboka, for tuning in. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Could you invite many more people to come? I want us to reach at least maybe around 10 people. 10 is a good number, then we start. Yes, Jen Kinga, welcome, welcome, Jen Kinga. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much. And by the way, how have you been? I feel so nice and I'm excited to interact with you all on this live session. Just type, how have you been? How is everything? Where are you watching me from? Jen Kinga, where are you watching me from? Evelyn Notieno, please type, I want to know. Timothy Amboka, Zeria Waluka, Colette Lynn, where are you watching me from? Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for your patience. I know I've really kept you for so long. This show was to start at 2 p.m., but due to technical problems, we've started it really late. But as they always say, it's, it's better late than never, and this is our late. Yes. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much, Evelyn. <laughs> Thank you. You're saying that I'm glowing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Evelyn, you're asking that what is omshenye? You're going to know in a few what omshenye is and how to prepare it. Yes, I want us to reach 10. 10 is a good number for us to start. We are at 6. And please, if you're watching me and you haven't subscribed, please click that red button and subscribe. It really supports my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please join my favorite squad. If you are my subscriber, you are automatically my favorite squad. So by you subscribing, you will you'll join my favorite squad. Isn't it nice? Let's, let's start at 3.50, 10 minutes to 4. We are starting at 10 minutes to 4. We are at 3.48 p.m. We are starting at 10 minutes to 4. How have you been, guys? I, I need you to interact with me. Why are you not typing? Jen Kinga, Evelyn Otieno, Colette Lynn, how have you been? Timothy Amboka, how have you been, guys? It's been long, and I'm really excited to interact with you on my live session. As I take you all the way to Western Kenya. Today we are going to Western Kenya, and we are going to connect with Western people through food. Oh, Timothy, you are saying where we konanja. <laughs> you will eat it online. Don't worry. Don't worry. You will eat omushenye online. And as I said earlier, this meal is filling. You just eat a small portion and it can take you the whole day. So you'll eat it online. Don't worry. 
and please after you watch this video in your own time you can go and recreate it and tell me later how it goes did you like it yes yes it's it's 10 minutes to four so we are we are starting 10 minutes to four we are starting and uh, as i said told you earlier okay i'm having my phone sorry maybe you may be wondering why i'm having my phone and it's a cooking show i want at the same time i'm cooking i want to interact with you live so on today's show or on today's cooking the ingredients that you're going to have are very few you know they say that few is many or few is a lot we, you don't need a lot of ingredients for you to prepare omoshenye what you need let me show you i don't know if my photographer can be able to zoom in what you need are these sweet potatoes already pre-boiled then sorry then you also need pre-boiled beans For this omushenye, you'll need some salt and cooking oil. You see, that's not so much. You only need sweet potatoes. You need pre-boiled beans, pre-boiled sweet potatoes, pre-boiled beans, salt, and uh, cooking oil. But before even I start, I'll tell you maybe how or what inspired me to for this live session for me to make omushenye. You see, okay, at this moment, our cultural heritage is being swept away by the Western culture, even as far as food is concerned. Even when you check a lot of chefs, those professional ones, they concentrate so much on the English food. They, okay, the traditional foods are forgotten. I don't know why, but okay, this is just a way of showing you or of reviving the 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 sorry <laughs> of reviving the traditions or the food tradition in the western region and i'll be glad to show you so i'll start but as i cook i would want to you to interact with me if you have any questions if you have particular videos that you want me to talk about or to particular recipes that you want me to cook i'll be glad to share with you so i'll start by lighting the fire like so but everything should be on low heat then I add in my cooking oil. You can use any vegetable oil of your choice. You're not pinned to this one. Any vegetable oil. I do the measurements using my eyes. I eyeball it. And by the way, I was taught to cook omshenya by my grandmother. I never used to see her measuring the, the ingredients. Everything, she used to measure them using her eyes. So I'll try and see how it comes. And just to give you some tip, it's not really pinned to this video, but just a tip. When you cook, you start by pouring in oil before you go in with the cooking oil. Before you go in with the, sorry, before you go in with the onions, because that way you don't need too much oil because when the oil is in fire it expands my oil is hot I'll go in with the onion I chose the green ones by the way what are the, how, how are they called Ebu someone tell me how they are called let me show you how are these onions called in English or in your mother tongue, I'll be glad to know. Me, I call them green onions. Comment how you call it in your mother tongue. 
And by the way, for, 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 okay, for those people who used to live way back, they never used to use oil. I never used to see my grandmother using oil. <laughs> but because we have that privilege, let me use it. I think they, 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 they just used water and cut these green onions on top, just like that, and mash it together, then add salt. But for this particular video, let me use the oil. And thank you, guys. This live chat or this live stream is sponsored. I'm really grateful. Even I can't imagine I'm saying that, that this live that this live stream is sponsored guy <laughs> it sounds so <laughs> i can't talk okay, i'm so excited by the way i can't believe that maybe someone somewhere saw saw me and believed in what i do and so so it fit to sponsor my life thank you so much so let me give it the shout out to my sponsors one of them is take a take a courier solutions thank you so much take a take a courier solutions for sponsoring this live show Thank you so much, guys. What Take a Take a does, it's a courier solutions. They are very quick, as the name suggests. The name Take a Take a means quick. Take a Take a Upesi Upesi. So if you want anything delivered to your office, to your home, anywhere you want, they are quick and fast at delivering your anything, be it, be it goods, office, everything. They deliver anything that you might want it delivered. They are quick, they are affordable, very affordable. And as I say, this, this is not just for PR. I've, I've ever used them so many times. So I'm telling you what I know or what I've tried myself. They are very quick, easy, affordable. Their rates are very affordable. You can try them out. My producer will, will run their number on the screen. So if you are interested, maybe you may not need their service right now. So just screenshot it. In future, when you need their service, please call that number. Tell them that Gladys has referred to you, you to them. I know they'll give you some discount. And give them business. And tell me how it turns out. My onions are ready. I don't know whether my camera will be able to zoom in. Hope you are able to see it. My onions are ready. So I'll go in with the pre-boiled beans. I'm not using tomatoes. You know, they say Africans don't measure. We don't measure things with cups or spoons. We just eyeball them. Or until the ancestors speak to you, it is enough, my daughter. Then you know it's enough. You're not used to measuring. And since you are cooking a traditional meal, until my ancestor tells me it's enough, I think this one is enough. Then I'll add my salt. As you add the salt, make sure it's not too much. A lot of salt is not healthy. That one, I know it's in the public domain, but for the sake of it, I'll repeat. It's not healthy. So it's, it's good. You, it's, it's better you add little. Then if it's not enough, you add it on the plate. Other than adding too much until it becomes unbearable. I'll, I'll add my light. My fire, sorry. And allow my beans to simmer. Where is the this? I'll just use this one. 
allow my beans to see much absorb the nutrients from the onions as it's simmering let me see who are watching me so that i can give them a shout out who are watching me who are watching me who are they how how where should i click to know who are watching me <laughs> the technology technology okay i've been able to see thank you evelyn atieno for the heart for the love heart <laughs> Evelyn Otene is saying we, we, we are 8 million people in the live. I tap on those blessings. Evelyn says to Timothy that tutakula live, yes, for sure, tutakula live. Yes, 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 yes. As we wait for the beans to simmer, I hope I'm audible enough. If you, you can't get me clearly, just comment so that I can know that I'm not audible enough and adjust and do the necessary. Are you able to hear me? Please tell me in the comment section. Are you able to hear me? Thank you, Eunice. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm really humbled. Thank you so much. Am I audible enough? Those who are viewing, I need you to confirm to me if I'm audible enough, if the sound is clear. The beans is simmering. Okay, I think there are no, no more new people. My beans are simmering well. I'll add some water. Make sure when you're adding water, let it not be too much because when it's too much, your omushenye will be runny. When you mash them, it will be run. It's not supposed to be run. It's not supposed to be too hard. It's supposed to be in between. The consistency should be in between. Not too hard and not too runny. You can be adding water as you mash until you get the right consistency or the consistency you like. Yes, the seasoning is okay. I think I'll add some more. By the way, you can eat it, you can take it with tea in the morning as your breakfast. And as I had already mentioned, it's very filling. When you take it, in the morning, it can take you through the whole day without you feeling hungry. You can take it with tea. You can take it with tea of your choice. Sorry. Oops. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that. As I was saying, you can take it in the morning as your breakfast with tea. 
I'll take it as your lunch with, with your favorite stew or gravy. I let it simmer for two minutes before I add in my sweet potatoes and mash them together. But as, I, as I'll be mashing them, I'll be cooking it on a very low heat so that it's, it's not burning as I mash. Have you been Evelyn able to tell us what's your traditional food from where you come from? I don't know where you come from. Tell us where you come from and what do you proud yourself? Your community, what does your community pride yourself? Which food does your community pride yourself with? As lawyers, we pride ourselves in or with, with omushenye, we pride ourselves with kuku, ingoho, ugali. But I think nowadays everyone likes ugali. Uwa muna danganyanga tu waluya, tu waluya na ugali. Iyo ni wongo. Everyone nowadays likes ugali. Ugali nowadays is a, is a national staple food, not, not pinned down to a particular community. Am I right? I, I know I'm right. Growing up, what did you used to eat while you were growing up? I know millennial kids cannot relate with such. Millennial, those born in 2000s, very rare for them to relate with. That's why I'm doing this show, so that you get to learn, you get to connect. Yes, so that it becomes, it becomes, or oh, you get to learn, yes. Hope sita gongwa na mawe, ati nimewaita millennial kids. Do millennial kids relate with such food? I don't think so. It has simmered enough. And this meal is very easy to fix. As long as your beans and your sweet potato was pre-boiled, it's very easy to fix. It will not take you more than 20 minutes. 20 minutes maximum, you are done. So let me reduce the heat first. Because I want to cook on a really low heat. Then I'll put in my, my sweet potatoes and start mashing. It's very easy, just like that. My hands are already washed. Before you start cooking, hygiene is very key. And by the way, for those who are winning their kids, this is a very healthy meal for a child. Very healthy. But make sure if it's for a child, the consistency should be light. It should not be too heavy. So that digestion becomes easy. For those who might be join, joining in now, we are cooking omushenye. Omushenye is a luya delicacy. Very nutritious, easy to make. It doesn't require much of ingredients and much of your time. And it's very filling. If you have a potato masher, I think at this time it will ease in your work. 
because hey, I'm putting a lot of effort. But as they, as they always say, if you want to get the best results in anything you are doing, you should put in the effort. So because I want to get the best results, that's why I'm putting in the effort. But why lie? If I had the masha, <laughs> it would isn't my work. I think next time I should get it. Have you zoomed in? Have you zoomed in? Okay. I want my viewers to see what I'm doing. You just cook the way you cook ugali. As you add, if the consistency is light, as you add more potato. If the consistency is heavy, as you add more water. On a very low heat. How have you been? Those watching me right now, how have you been? And if you like the show, please give it a thumbs up. And by that, I think this is the right opportunity for me to, to educate. Many of my people ask me that, how, how does my, me subscribing benefit you? Or how does me watching, me watching your video, how should, does it benefit you? Or me liking your videos, how is it benefit to me as a YouTuber or a content creator? By you subscribing, it adds to the number. By you viewing and liking the content, it notifies YouTube or Google that the content is likable. I'm posting things that people like. So YouTube will help me to push it further to a larger, to a larger audience. So please support those small YouTubers, support them by subscribing, by watching their content. By sharing their content, by giving them shout out to your friends or your circle. It goes a long way. Because before I started YouTube, I didn't know the effort YouTubers put to, to, to give us that video to, to film a video. It takes a lot. So they just ask you, what they ask you is you to reciprocate by liking, sharing, subscribing if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed please subscribe don't be left out if you like the content tell me maybe i might i might be bringing you more of this so i want to know by your response if you like such content, then I'll be bringing you more of the traditional foods. Even I'll be bringing people from different communities on this show to share with us what their community pride themselves in as far as food is concerned. You know, the best way to bring people together is through food. Do you know that the best way or the easy way, sorry, the easy way to bring people together is through food. 
Because even me, I see at my home, people will be doing their own business, their own business, their own business. But during meal time, they will come together, sit on a table, and share a meal. So I'd be glad to know in your community what's that food that brings you together. As in Western Kenya, Omushenye is one of the food that brings us together. I think I'll not, I'll, I'll, I don't need to add in more sweet potato. The consistency is, is coming out well. Yeah, but it's tiring. <laughs> it's very tiring. It's a lot of work. This is a very great meal for babies. My daughter loves this meal very much. But when it comes with babies, when you are cooking it for the babies, make sure, make sure before you cook the beans, you soak it overnight or for 24 hours. Soak the beans for 24 hours. This way, it will remove a lot of gas from the beans. Soak it for 24 hours before you start boiling the beans. If you want to, cook it for your child. You cook the way you cook ugali. If you know how to cook ugali, That time that you're cooking ugali, it will reach a point you'll know this ugali is ready. Same way to mushenya, you'll just cook and you'll feel this one is now ready. When your potato are well mashed and mixed well with the beans, like so. Mine is almost there. Oh, sorry. Let me allow it to simmer as I connect with you. Who is watching me? Who is watching me? Let me see who is watching me. Yes, Sagida says that she, she can hear. She can hear me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, yeah, even Mushila says that in their language, this Omushenye, they call it Kimanga. Even Mushila, I'm interested to know what is your language, Kimanga. I've, I've never heard of that. That's interesting to know. Yes, Evelyn says, take a, take it a deliver. True to that. Sagi, the text, ganu nanyambia nisome. Nita soma after live. <laughs> Sai niko live. Siye zisoma text. Sagide says nitume na no thrift. Okay, okay. Oh, Sagide is locked from Eldoret. Thank you, thank you for tuning in. You are welcome. Kuja tukule. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Eunice. Eunice says that my sufurias are so clean. Yeah, thanks to my house manager she does that work really well she's good with organizing and i'm really thankful to her thank you thank you thank you thank you so much thank you for those who are watching it live right now thank you watch it till the end because this is not the only meal that i'm going to do on this live i have one secret meal that I didn't mention it. I wanted it to be a surprise that we'll be using it as a as our stew with the mushenye. And without wasting time. 
as the mushenye is simmering let me start working on that stew uh, but before that i want to take you way back who can relate you used to use this such kind of plate <laughs> I wanted to use it on this live show to just, I, I don't know, to relate everything, everything into tradition. Because I realize in most homes, people don't have it. I want to start working on the stew as the mushenye is simmering. Then put on the oil, vegetable oil, not too much, just kidogo oil. But for the stew, I'll be using red onions. I don't, I don't know how they are called. Are they called spring onions? Those round ones. I'll be using it for the stew. I'll add some more onion. Utamwa chakula ni kitungu. But a lot of people have been asking me, they've been inboxing me, Ulianza Adia YouTube channel, what kind of investment or how much investment should you make? Just start where you are with what you have. Start where you are with what you have. Don't wait for you to buy a big camera, you big, you buy big lights for you to start them, no. Start with what you have. And, it, and what I can tell you, <laughs> maybe what people, most people don't know, I film using my phone. Yes, because I have the passion. And uh, the, the passion is unstoppable. Nothing is going to limit me. So I cannot stop filming because I don't have a camera, no. Use what you have. Things will adjust as you move on. Don't wait for a perfect time, no. The perfect time is here with you right now. So don't deal dull as you say, ah, sini si ezianza sai kwa sababu. No, don't have ex uh, excuses for not starting, just start. In whatever thing, it's not a must kwe YouTube. In whatever thing umekwa uki intend kufanya. Don't give yourself excuse. Don't procrastinate. You just start. Yes. Of course, with you, at first you'll make mistakes. 
And that's the best way of learning when you make mistakes. You learn from mistakes. With time, you'll be a guru. And you cannot, people will not believe that you started from very, very, very low. So don't have an excuse for you not starting that thing that you tend to start. Start where you are with what you have. And I know so many small YouTubers. I won't mention names. I know so many small YouTubers who are using their phones to film. But when you see their, the audience that they are reaching, they are reaching a much wider audience. Because if you have a great content, or if you have great content, people won't mind. Okay, as much as video quality is okay, but also content is okay. So work on your content first, then work on the external factors. I'll season with black pepper for the stew. That's a bit too much. I have some paprika for some for some color, nice color. But don't put too much because it's ni chili. Ni pili pili pia. Then curry powder. I'm eyeballing everything. Sorry. Then salt. Yeah, the aroma in this kitchen, I wish you could be able to, <laughs> to smell it. Yeah, it really smells nice. At this point, my mushenye is ready. Ebu zoom in. My mushenye is ready, and this is the consistency. As you can see, it's not runny, and it's not hard. It's the right, the perfect consistency. It's ready for serving. I'll switch off and cover so that it doesn't lose the the warmth as I work on the stew. Let me exchange the sulfurias, the fire. This one cooks slowly. I hope you are able to see. Nakaanga mpaka ikuwe dry kiasi. Siji kama mnanielewa. Before I go in with the tomatoes. As it seems, let me see. Let me give a shout out to the new people who have joined the live. Who are 
are they? Who are they? Oh, Moses Minor says, I like Mushenya. Oh, wow, that's interesting to know. You've taken me back home in Western. Tumano Mushenya teke teke. Oh, wow, yeah. By the way, nitatumia teke teke kukutumia Mushenya teke teke. Yes, who else? Who else is here with me? Who else? Timothy Amboka says, Tuma teke teke. Wacha ni malize kupika. Evelyn says, yum, yes. It really is. Uh, Eunice is asking, does Teke Teke have an app like Bolt? Um, how do they work? Yes, work on an app. And you can call the number that is running on the screen. Call that number for more information, for all, any detail that you might want. That number that is running on the screen right now. Call them for inquiries. Yes, Uni says Teke Teke is so organized. Oh, wow. Uh, Uni says in Luo, si jaskia. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, Eva says that she thought she missed the live. Thank you, thank you for your support. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. We are almost done. We are almost done. and allow it to simmer for two minutes. As it's simmering, what do you want me to talk about? Muniambie, munataka kusikia nini? Muniulize maswali. Niulize ni maswali, niulize ni maswali. Those who are watching. Oh, Timothy says that in law it's called anyona. Ah, oh, Timothy. <laughs> I think <laughs> una tudanganya. Are you sure? Anyona, anyona, anyona in Luya, it's, uh, it's someone's name. Hmm? But, but that is interesting. Please subscribe, subscribe, share. And I think I'll be doing this more often, the live streaming. Not bad for a start. I was tense, not knowing how it will come out. But for a start, I'm impressed. So maybe I'll be motivated to do more of them very often. So stay tuned, click that notification bell so that you don't miss such notifications, you don't miss on such great content. Yes. The nyanya cooked well. I hope you are able to see. So I'll add some water for the gravy. and cover hey, but singing just keep on that like so and cover I think 
I'll need to add some salt. Cover. As it simmer. Tell me, tell me. Tell me, guys, where are you watching me from? Do you like the mushenye? And the houseflies are many. Ni seasons ya housefly. So, musianze kusema, eh, kulikuwa na inzi nyingi. No, ni season. Eh, where do I go here? Yeah, almost done. So as we wind up, before I wind up, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for creating time. Everyone who is on the live right now. Thank you, Colette. Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Zeruya. Thank you, Timothy. Thank you, Moses, for tuning in. Thank you, Eunice. Thank you, Sagide, the Subarist. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your support so far. I don't take it for granted. Thank you so much. But don't go yet. We are not yet done with the video. Who are watching me right now? Thank you, thank you. Oh, Timothy says <laughs> that these green onions, these ones, are called eshitungu eshio masafe. By the way, in Luya they are called eshitungu shia masafu. Yes, you are right. That one, Timothy didn't lie to us. But that one that she, he said that omushenye in Luya is called... Anyona, that one I have to confirm. I will have to confirm that one. Who are watching me? Who are watching me? I need to know you. Siji mbona si waoni kabisa? Siezi jua exactly ni nani ya metune in? Yes, who are watching me? Yuni says... Oh, yeah, that sm it smells really nice from the sitting room. <laughs> Thank you. Zeruya says, Akona sahani. Leta sahani ni kupakulie. What is rego? Zeruya, tell us what is rego in your mother tongue. What is rego or rego? We are almost done. Let me check on my stew. Bado kidogo tu. Let it give it some time. Thank you, thank you for watching me. Yes, yes, yes. Who would want to appear in my show? Let me know. I'll be glad to host you for a cooking show as we talk some great conversations. Who would like to join me? So that we plan in time. Evelyn, are you ready? To pange to pige show live na wewe. Ebu tell me, Eva. Yes, I would love you to you to tell my audience live what is kimanga and how is cook how kimanga is cooked. Eva. 
kuja inbox kuja inbox tupange sagide wewe tutakusambazia tu na teketeke kule Eldoret uko ni mbali As the stew is simmering, I'll start serving. And I have here my producer, my director. I don't know if they'll agree to have a taste of the food in front of the camera. Oh, they want to test it behind the cameras. Unajua most of the time nikisema ni tamu, huwa mnasema mmm pengine una to enjoy. Lakini leo kuna watu wata confirm. Kuna watu niko nao they'll confirm to you. Nikisema ni tamu mtajua yenyewe inakuanga tamu ya ukweli. Having my motion, waiting for the stew. I'll add the, I'll add coriander to the stew. I, I was almost forgetting it. My stew is ready. My stew is ready. I'll garnish it with this coriander. Yes. 
it, this one is literally meals in in less than 30 minutes omushenye is one of them we've cooked it under 30 minutes we started the live at at around 3 4 30 no 4 we started the live at around 4 or what what was the time it was 3 3 30 yeah no 3 50 and right now it's 4 45 but i've been cooking as i film so when you cook without filming it will take you less than 20 minutes here is my food ready i'll give it to my producer to test my producer, come and test live on camera and tell my people <laughs> how he, how the food is. My producer is called Simon. Hi, Naki. Yes, Simon wow. Karibu. Wow, Sati sana. Yeah, Karibu. <laughs> Here is the nice meal in the Kweki Piko Hapa. Mm-hmm. Oh, Sijaombea. Acha Tawbea to Kimaliza Shows. Yeah, yeah. Let me just on the Yeah. Wow. How is it? Have you any take a take a very nice. I mean take a take or deliver to say kuna ingine me back here. Mm-hmm. A lot. Sabiza me. Na kina joku pika. Oh, sante. Karibu nice sana. Too. Karibu. Thank you. Okay. You are welcome. Guys, That's a, that has been it for today. And uh, if you like the show, I'd really love to know so that pengine itani motivate ni fanya more of the live shows. Please subscribe and share the Share this content so that it, it reaches a larger audience. Until next time, bye. Love you.